Greetings to you, my viewers and my subscribers, and welcome to another video. I am Belly One Engineering. I trust that everything is well with all of you and you're keeping yourself safe. And I must say to you that I am especially appreciative to those of you who have been watching my videos and who have been commenting on my videos. Now, for the past three weeks, I have been discussing with you the reinforced concrete slab plan. I have delved into a little bit of structural analysis and a little bit of structural design. So has to bring that topic a little bit clearer to you. And in today's topic, I'm going to be continuing my plan reading series. And I am going to discuss with you the roof framing plan and the roof plan. So in a few, I will be getting right into the video. So don't go away, I'll be right back. Thank you for staying tuned, thanks. segment and as I've said to you in my intro I'm going to be talking to you about roof plan and roof framing plan so without further ado I'm going to be getting right into the video so as you can see displaying on my screen here to the left is the roof plan and this is what the roof plan looks like and to my right is the roof framing plan and this is what the roof framing plan looks like therefore let me explain to you the distinction between the roof plan and the roof framing plan the roof plan is placed over your building or over your floor plan and as it is in this case this building is consists of two floor two floors and the roof plan is placed over the upper floor so these red line that you're seeing here these broken hidden lines is just a representation of the floor plan which is beneath the roof plan so your roof plan is just a depiction of the finished roof is a depiction of the finished product is as if you're up at a higher elevation looking down on the building and I think I've mentioned to you in an earlier video when I was discussing the reading of working drawings that when you come across the word plan in your set of working drawings it just simply mean that you're looking down on the building or you're looking down on an object the focus of this presentation I must point out to you is really your roof framing plan the roof framing plan forms the structure of your roof right so if you notice the roof framing plan it is consists of a structure which is built by two by eight and two by six the two by eight inches WPP is used as your hip rafter, it is used as your body rafter, it is used for your wrist board, for your lower wrist board. And why is that? We use the 2x8 to form the structural integrity 
off the roof. And the reason for that is that the 2x8 is much heavier than the 2x6. And hence, it provides a better resistance towards hurricane force wind. Now, your 2x6, as we call it, the common rafter. And it is placed commonly throughout the roof framing plan. The 2x6 is used to accommodate the finished roofing material. But as it is in this case, we put a sarkin over the common rafter, or what is otherwise known as tongue and groove. And we place our finished material on top of that tongue and groove, right? So that pretty much is what the roof plan is for. It forms the structural integrity of your roof. Now you can also obtain from your roof framing plan, your roof overhang, which is standard in Jamaica as one foot six inches. In most cases, you're going to see one foot six inches as your roof overhang. And it is measured from the edge of your wall here out to your fascia board. So from the edge of the wall here out to the fascia board, you can obtain your roof overhang. You can also obtain your roof overhang from your elevation view. Or you can obtain your roof overhang from your sectional view also. So that pretty much is what the function of the roof framing plan is. It forms the structure of your roof. Now, to obtain the height of your roof, you can turn to your elevational views. And your maximum height of your roof is measured from the top of the belt beam to the top of the ridge, which in this case, it is 11 feet, 8 inches. You can also obtain the maximum height of your roof from your sectional views. And you can still see it here as 11 feet, 8 inches, measured from the top of your belt beam all the way to the top of your ridge board. Therefore, that pretty much is mostly what the roof framing plan is. You can get the height of your roof from your elevation and the, or the height of your roof from your section. Now, you can now turn your attention to looking over the roof detail. Because for you to properly understand what the roof is to be constructed of, or how the roof is to be constructed, you have to carefully go through your roof detail. So in this case, we are looking at the typical eave detail. So the eave detail, as you can see, this is your fascia board. This is your, your, um, your aluminum flashing. And as you can see, a call out here. This is showing the, the wall plate. And in this instance, the wall plate is two inches by four inches, two by four WPP. And WPP, it just mean vulmerized pitch pine. So this is a wall plate secured to RC beam, reinforced concrete beam with HD bolts at three feet and center. So this is a vital information that you can obtain from your roof detail. Another important feature that is on 
your eve detail is your hurricane strap and your hurricane strap is there to hold down the rafters in the event that the roof is being subjected to a storm force wind the hurricane strap is to be placed at every rafter throughout the building right around the perimeter of the building at every rafter because the main function of the hurricane strap is to keep your building anchored to the 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 wall plate is to keep the roof anchored to the building so has to not let the wind blow off the roof or take away the roof so that is very very keen to note so you must read your roof detail very carefully and when you have done that you would be in good order to execute a good roof so in this case this is the the ridge detail and the ridge detail it shows you the two by eight inches WPP ridge board you must observe that and in the valley detail or the gutter detail the same thing you see it shows you again the the hurricane strap so that is very very vital so that pretty much sums up the roof plan and the roof framing plan as i've said before it is a very very simple exercise to understand when reading the blueprint or the working drawing it is not difficult to understand it is very very easy to understand once you read it carefully a point i want to make to to my viewers and my subscribers or if you're a person that you know sometime in the future you are going to be constructing a building is that when you're constructing the roof when you reach that phase of the construction project and you're going to install your roof ensure to get someone that is experienced in roof construction because in my estimation the cost of your roof varies from about 10 to 15 percent of your overall cost of your construction project so if you should get someone that is inexperienced to construct your roof you're going to be ending up with a roof that is spoiled because from time to time i have seen where roof has been spoiled and a roof is very expensive in a matter of fact it is more expensive than a reinforced concrete roof so therefore you would want to get a person or people that is experienced in roof construction before you go ahead so that is a bit of information that i'm going to put up there and for you as a builder or a prospective home owner to bear in mind so that pretty much sums up the roof plan and the roof frame framing plan reading so if you like the video please share the video and if you're watching this video for the first time please remember to subscribe and share the video and comment therefore this video is going to be concluded at this stage and i will be uploading a video very soon thank you and until i see you again thanks